up? It's me, Catherine, and welcome back to my channel. Happy 2020! I love new beginnings. I love the new year. I don't love January. It's too cold, but I am pumped for 2020. Today, I'm gonna share seven habits that I've been working on recently that I really wanna focus on into in the new year. I feel like these habits have not only made me a better human, but a better actress and creative person. The habits I'm gonna share in today's video are the ones that are currently improving my life. Some of them directly affect my career and others affect me in more roundabout ways. Today's video is supported by Skillshare, one of my favorite ways to learn online and on a budget. So huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Question of the day, what is a habit or goal that you'd like to achieve in the new year? Does it have to do with your career, your friends, your health, you, whatever it is, let me know about it in the comments down below. So let's jump into the seven habits that I'm focusing on right now. One of the best things I've ever done for myself is getting sweaty. I've realized that I am just flat out a better person after I've been to the gym or gotten physical in some other way. When I work out, I'm happier, I'm more confident, I'm less stressed, I have more energy, I'm more easygoing, I'm definitely more productive. Everything in life is just a little bit easier. Another habit that I'm focusing on is self-care and actually figuring out what self-care means for me. I feel like a lot of the time when you think about self-care, you think about like face masks and bath bombs and a cup of tea, and that might be part of your self-care routine. But I've also realized that literally just taking care of myself is so much more important to my self-care routine than doing like the fancy frilly things. Things that really affect me as part of my self-care routine that immediately make me feel better. Taking a shower, getting out of the house, talking to a friend, I still definitely make time to like get my nails done as part of my self-care routine, but going back to basics, figuring out what exactly taking care of myself, what is good for me, what helps me recharge on a daily basis, that's been a game changer. The next habit that I'm focusing on is admittedly something that I am absolute garbage at, and that is honestly evaluating the relationships in my life. And by that, I mean keeping good people close to me and maybe distancing myself from people who are, for lack of a better term, toxic. People in your life should make you happy and help you grow and challenge you in a good way. If you've realized that spending time with someone just drains your energy or makes you feel bad or taken for granted or more judgmental, it might be time to reevaluate that person in your life. Whether you notice it or not, you pick up on their habits, you slowly absorb them into your being. So make sure you're absorbing for the better. Something that has been so insanely good for me, sleep. I'm someone who never really had like a formal sleep schedule. Like I just kind of go to bed when everything was done. And because of that, I feel like I've always had a really difficult time falling asleep and staying asleep. Like I just, growing up, I have always had terrible nightmares. And I've found that as I've kind of gotten to bed earlier and I've created a real sleep routine and stayed away from screens and done some light reading, I sleep so much better. I fall asleep instantly, almost no nightmares. I go to bed usually around 11 nowadays and I'll start getting ready for bed around like 10, 15, 10, 30, wash my face, create my to-do list for the next day, maybe listen to a podcast or some music. When I have enough quality sleep, I feel so much more productive and just like a better version of myself. I have way more energy, I'm way happier. I feel like I'm less anxious because I am a very nervous little show pony and I feel like it's calmed my nerves immensely. A habit that I'm currently working on is cutting out something bad. And let me explain that because I know how vague that sounds. I feel like whenever you're going through a big period of change and you're starting to implement all of these great habits, in that time that you're adding all of this good stuff, I feel like it's so much easier to just slip out a bad habit and you won't even miss it because you're so busy focused on all the good stuff. It sounds so silly, but I've always found it infinitely easier to cut out dessert once I start working out regularly. And that is coming from someone who straight up loves dessert. But I feel 20 times better when I don't have all that extra sugar in my system. It gives me headaches, it messes up my sleep schedule, I don't feel good, and now I straight up sound like I'm 40. That being said, like I'm not going to deny myself a piece of cheesecake if I really want cheesecake, because let me tell you, I frequently want cheesecake. The absolute most important habit that I'm currently working on is scheduling. As a creative, it is imperative that you protect your time because it's an asset 
that's non-renewable. You have a finite amount of time every day and what you do with that time is up to you. But I think it's important that you spend your time consciously. Like make decisions on what you're going to spend your time on and make sure that it's a worthy purchase. Learning how to plan is difficult. It's a skill and it's one that I've been working on with Skillshare. They offer classes designed for real life so that you can grow and learn even with a busy routine. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. I loved taking this class on productivity, time management, and scheduling taught by Skillshare's very own CEO. If you're someone with an irregular schedule or if you often feel overwhelmed by your workload, this is the class for you. Michael teaches you how to prioritize your tasks so you can actually get the important stuff done without feeling like you're drowning in stress. Skillshare wants you to accomplish your goals. Make 2020 a year where you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare's online classes. There is so much to learn and explore on there. In addition to classes and scheduling, I've done stuff on bartending, interior design, Instagram photography, tons of stuff. Skillshare is giving away a free two month unlimited access trial to my subscribers. That's you guys. Just click the link in the description box and after that it's only like $10 a month. I personally use Skillshare and I love it so thank you to Skillshare for supporting this video. Another habit that's been an ongoing journey for me probably within the last six months is finding things that I love outside of theater, outside of the performing arts, outside of the industry. This is definitely a topic that I've made videos on before and one that I've talked about ad nauseum especially if you know me in real life like I do not stop talking about this. I know how all-consuming this industry is, but the second that you put your whole entire heart into this thing that doesn't love you or care about you back, that's a problem. You need to have things outside of theater. You need to have hobbies. You need to have friends. They can be theater friends, but you need to have friends. You need to make time for your family, for your pets, for your community. We definitely have the added bonus that our jobs are a ton of fun and creative and can fulfill you, but you need to make sure that you have other things that bring you that same joy and fulfillment. So. That's what I'm currently working on. Tell me about your goals and plans in the comments down below. I am rooting for you and I am with you every step of the way. Happy 2020, my friends. I hope this year brings you tons of laughter and love and life and fun and theater and all the good things. If you're new here, hit subscribe. This is a musical theater internet cult. Yay cult! It sounded like I said ya cult. Like the uh, wasn't that like a probiotic like yogurt drink? I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!